Welcome. Happy Tuesday. All right, so let's get started. Um, hopefully everything's going okay. I haven't heard anything um, that bad that has gone on today. So we are going to do legs and shoulders today. If you didn't actually see my message I posted on Facebook like 40 minutes ago, if you have a chair or a bench, um, like if you have a step platform, if you have a chair, if you want to use an ottoman, grab that. Uh, make sure you have that. I've been we've been doing heavy weights. I always have multiple sets of weights out so I can change it up as I need to. And we're gonna warm it up, um, focusing on glutes and shoulders. So we're doing the leg, but I'm trying to do exercises today where we're gonna focus on glutes. So we will be laying down to do something. So if you feel like you need a mat, go ahead and grab a mat for that. All right. Let's go ahead and start. Again, I always play music in the background, but that I can pretty much hear, not um, the computer. Otherwise, we won't be able to post these workouts later. So if you want to have your own music in the background, then by all means, please do so. All right, so let's start. We are going to be, I gotta see, oh, you guys can't see me too high. Perfect, okay. So we are gonna start here. We are gonna start with a straight leg lean. So I'm hedging from the hip, straight leg lean, sit to a squat and stand, just warming up those legs. So straight leg lean down, let him touch my toes, sit down to a squat and stand up. Just keep repeating that a couple times. As you're doing these straight leg leans, we are going to be doing deadlifts today. So I want you to focus on as you lean down, only go down as far as you can maintain a flat back. Okay, if I go down too far, my back is going to round out. So I'm going to make sure I maintain, and I'm going to sit, and I'm going to stand. Good, keep going. Don't worry about your range of motion so much right now. That's why we're doing this in the warm-up. Let's do about four more of those. If you don't have a bench, you're going to be okay. You can always do it. Or if you have a knee injury, you can do everything I'm going to do on the floor. It doesn't have to be on a bench. And I'm going to do one more. Good. Now we're going to do some ro or alternating rear lunge with rotation. Okay. I like to do this rotation. Number one, we're going to get that core ready and warmed up because we need our core to help us as we lift. But we're also going to help pull that knee into alignment as we rotate over that opposite leg. So I'm rotating across my leg to where if your knee falls in in a squat or lunge, as you lunge and you rotate, it helps pull that knee into alignment where it's supposed to be. Good. Keep going. Keep that chest up. Rotating to the sides. I've been really looking forward to this day. I love lifting. And so if you guys think that I'm making you do it, you're making me do it. Because on the days that I don't video, I don't do it. I did do top of the world today, though. Right, let's do one more. Perfect. What I'm going to have you do is you take your feet nice and wide. I am well farther than your hips, but you don't have to go super, super, super wide. And I want you to rotate your toes inward, and I want your toes to face outward. We're going to work on that hip hinging again. So I just want you to go ahead, sit back. So I'm hinging at my hip. And I'm going to reach down for the floor. Notice I have that flat back here. I have that flat back. And then I'm going to go ahead and squat, bend my knees, and then just lengthen my legs again. Sit down and squat and lengthen again. Now, if you can't touch the floor with a flat back, you're just going to come up higher, okay? Bend and straighten. I really want you to work on maintaining that flat back. You're pulling those abs in. We're going to do three more just like this. 
Good, one more. Now I want you to do what we did in the beginning, but we're doing wider legs. So we're reaching down, we're sitting, and then we're standing up. Again, reach, reach out, stand up. Reach down, squat, stand up. Reach down, squat, stand up. Let's do two more of those. Reach down, squat, stand one more. Reach down, squat, and stand. Last one up exercise, we're gonna do push-ups because we're gonna be doing shoulders today. So I kind of just wanna get the core and everything more. So let's go ahead, we're gonna go down into those push-ups. Go on your knees if you feel like you need to, that's absolutely okay because we're still just warming up. We're not working chest today, so don't worry about it. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna do 15 push-ups together in three, two, and one. So again, I want you to think about that flat back. A push-up is a moving plank. So if we want to work our abdominals in a push-up or in our core, we're going to want to make sure we keep the core in nice and tight. I am on number seven. Remember, you can always go at your own pace. Three more. One. Two. And three. Okay. So what we're going to do to start is I want to start with a front raise to a lateral lift. Now, again, we're going to start with shoulders. I want you to go as heavy as you can. The goal is max of 10 reps. If you only have light weights, then you can go higher reps. Do whatever feels good for you. Um, you don't have to do exactly what I'm doing. But we're going to try not to swing or use momentum for today. Sometimes we will use the momentum from our legs. So go ahead, grab those dumbbells. And from a front raise to a lateral raise, that's one. And we're counting up to six to 10. Here we go, in three, two, one. So on my front raise, I just raised shoulder height. Same thing with my lateral, shoulder height, that was one. Keep that core tight. That's three. I'm not gonna go any higher than my shoulders. My knees are slightly bent, so I'm grounded. Five. Now pay attention to what your head does as you lift. A lot of times, because we're tight in the pectoralis and we sit all day, we have this forward head that as we lift, actually juts forward even more. So try and stabilize that neck and those head, head muscles. So you're not jutting your head forward every time you lift. Controlling the weight. Beautiful. And I'm just gonna do one more. That's my 10. And you should notice towards the end of whatever you're doing, the last three, two, three reps, you feel like you really will have to swing into it. Okay, that's how heavy I want you guys to be going if it's possible. All right, next thing we're gonna do, the reason I moved back so far today, is we're gonna do a single leg on the bench, a single leg squat. So you can start from the bottom or start from the top. I want you to start without weights for now. Some of you won't use weights at all. I'm gonna have one foot on. This outside leg is gonna to come to the side. If you're using a chair, you use a chair. If you're on the floor, you just do a single leg squat. So you're gonna lift this leg up and squat. I'll show you in a second. But from here, I'm going to sit my hips back into a squat, like I'm gonna to touch my toe to the ground, and I'm gonna push it back up. And you notice how much balance that took? Because I just fell off. There's a couple things I want you to know before we go into this. Just like in a squat, not everyone has the same range of motion in the hips, knee, and ankle joints. So when you're squatting, if you can't get low, the hinge, is actually just as if not more important than this knee bend. So if you have knee issues and you can only squat a little bit, hinging more is gonna activate those hamstrings and glutes still, okay? That's the way to do it safely. So same with this. If I feel like it's too hard, I'm gonna lose my balance, or it doesn't feel that I'm gonna shorten my range of motion, or I might hinge more than I bend my knee. You have to know it works for your body. I'm also on a bench that's soft. So it's unstable. If I was on the ground or something more solid, my ankle's not gonna move as much. 
I want all of that challenge. Here we go. So we're going to go. We're not using any weights, but let's still just do 10 because it's going to be tricky. It's going to take a while. So we're going to come down, get as low as you feel comfortable, and then press up through that leg. Now, again, a lot is going on here. You're going to see a ton of stuff going on with my knee, and that's okay. My knee, my ankle, everything, my foot, it's all stabilizing. Here's what I want you to do if you're feeling all of this stuff stabilizing. It's really hard. I want you to push into the ground or the bench as hard as you can as you come up. And think about pushing into that big toe as you come up. Good. Take your time. Take your time. So if you're having trouble right now and you're not loaded with any type of weight, I would just stick with this until you get the hang of it. Sometimes it just takes practice. So I really want you to focus on what your knee is doing. If it's always falling inward, I want you to press out into that pinky toe a little bit. Good, I think I have two more. And again, I kind of want to sit back and I'm leaning forward a little bit. I'm hinging my hip because I don't have as much movement in my knee joint. One more. And straight up. Nice. So we're going to have to do the other side. On the other side, you guys, you don't have a bench. You can absolutely just be here. Balance the leg. You can go behind you or you can go forward like in a pistol squat. I think behind is easier. You can also kickstand your toe and just make sure all the weight's in this front leg. So let's do the other side, which is going to be a whole other learning curve for the body, correct? And move this out of the way. Here we go. So I'm going to start from the top, have my foot relatively close to that edge, and then I'm going to go for 10. The first couple are going to be messy because I haven't done this in a while, and that's okay. Let it get messy. All that messiness is a lot of stabilizing muscles working that we want to work. I don't want it to be so messy that you hurt your knee, though. So please be mindful. If it doesn't feel good, modify it. Good, keep going, I've got five more. I'm still pushing through my heel. I'm hinging more from the hip because that feels more comfortable to me and my body. And drive through the entire foot as you come up. If your foot was on the ground, think about pushing into the ground, push into that platform that you're standing on really hard as you come up. Same thing when you do your squats. Pushing into the platform as hard as I can. I've got three more. Here we go. So you're going to notice, you're going to see my knee going wonky, and that's okay. As long as I'm careful and I'm controlled. Good. I've got one more. And I'm going to drive it up. Nice job. How that feel, you guys? Pretty good? I know that's super challenging, okay? And especially if you're on a bench like I am. That proprioception in your foot, because the bench is squishy, it makes it even more challenging. So if you see, think that something's getting too easy for you, there's always a way to make it harder. Don't kid yourself, okay? Now, we're gonna go into some Arnold presses with a squat. Since we're already doing our legs, we're gonna do some compound movements. So we're gonna be here, I'm gonna squat, Arnold press, which is that rotational press. Okay, so we're working shoulders and legs at the same time. First exercise shoulders, second exercise legs. Here we go, let's do shoulders and legs together. We're gonna go three, two, one. Now same thing. It's okay if you wanna bend your knees a little less and hinge forward a little more, you just gotta watch that back. Keep that back in alignment. Good, don't forget to breathe. As I come up, I'm driving my feet into the ground, my entire foot into the ground as hard as I can to help stabilize my knees. Keep going. I'm using light weights on this first one, so I'm actually going to do 15. If you're going super heavy already, good for you. Do less. It's okay. 
Woo. I'm going to do five more. That's one, two, three, four. I've got one more. And five. Beautiful. Okay. Next, we're going back into legs. We're going to do a single leg Romanian deadlift to a lateral lunge. This involves a lot of glute, okay? A lot of people think in a lateral lunge, it's their inner thigh that's working the most. It is getting more of your inner thigh, but in a lateral lunge, this leg is decelerating, the glute is decelerating this leg as it goes out, okay? So my glute has to work to decelerate, and then I'm gonna push off this foot, all right? So really focus on that deceleration as you're coming down. Make it controlled. You're gonna go as heavy as you want. And here's what it's gonna look like without dumbbells. So my right leg, I'm gonna soften my knee. I'm gonna have one or two dumbbells, it's up to you. I'm gonna do that single leg Romanian deadlift. My knee is soft, it's not straight, it's not bent. And then I'm gonna go right into a lat lunge and back up, okay? I really want you to try and balance in between if you can. Again, that's an extra challenge. So first time, maybe you don't use weights or you go lighter. Remember, we're gonna try and get four of, this, four of these sets done. So let's go ahead, grab those weights. Nice flat back. We're gonna go in three, two, one. I'm gonna soften that knee. I'm gonna do that single leg deadlift, flat back. Notice I balance up into my lat lunge and I'm gonna balance up. That was one. Take your time on these. Again, a lot of balance, a lot of coordination. Now here's what I want. I don't want you to take a giant step out in that lat lunge. I want it far enough that you can align the knee as you sit back, but don't go huge, okay? Don't go huge. Oh yeah, nice flat back. Beautiful, keep going. So again, my glute is what is decelerating this movement here, because as I land, I have to decelerate. My body has to decelerate that movement going down. Of course, I lost count. I'm gonna do one more after this. Woo! And then come up, nice. So that combination right there is really a nice glute burner, okay? Remember in that, I'll show you, in this deadlift, that single leg, don't lock it out, don't go straight. It's gonna go more into your back. Soften your knee about 20 degrees and flat back. Drive up the heel as you come up. Let's do the other side, you guys ready? Let's go. So I'm on my left foot, here we go. Three, two, one. I do that deadlift and I sit. Deadlift, lateral lunge, that was two. Deadlift, so now I'm adding that balance. Lateral lunge. Notice the first couple, I didn't worry about it so much. I wanna teach my body the movement before I start making things super difficult. I've got five more, I think. Woo! Take your time if you're falling over. If you're unbalanced, it's okay. You can watch this video again and get more practice. Yeah, I just fell. Or you just start with balancing your toe like we talked about in the beginning. The more you do it, the more those 
feet, ankles, knees will learn to stabilize. Good, I'm gonna go ahead, finish one more after this. Talking so much, I always lose count. Whoop. And back up, nice work. All right, so if you're not finishing, or if you're finishing before me, take the breaks, you guys. Remember, I'm teaching you, especially when you lift heavy. The more break time in between your set, the better, okay? I know we don't have a lot of time, so we kind of have to move back to back. When you're actually doing your own workouts, let's spend more time resting before we move on to the next thing. All right. Oh, I love this one. You guys are gonna hate it. Casey might like it, I don't know. We're gonna do shoulder push-ups. I'm gonna give you a couple versions. If you have a bench, you can do it with your feet on the bench. You are gonna go into a down dog, all right? I'm gonna shift my shoulders over my wrists. I'm gonna drop my head straight down to the floor. So think about it. If you were in a handstand, your head would be going straight down. So you've got to lift and shift your shoulders over your wrists. I'll do it from the side so you can see. Let's all do it together. I want to go for 15. You don't have to, okay? Here we go. In three, two, and one. That's one, two, three, Six. Nine. Ten. I'm going five more. You don't have to. One. Two. Three. Four. One more. And five. Nice work. Okay. So, really important. If you have shoulder issues and that doesn't feel good, you can do an overhead press. Um, instead. If you want to make it harder, you put your feet up on the bench and hands on the floor. All right? Now, next, or you can do a handstand if you have a wall. Okay, next, you're going to grab a mat. We're going to do a frog pump. So it's basically a hip bridge. You're going to take one heavy dumbbell, please. I'm going to use a heavy kettlebell. We're going to lay down. I want you to bring the soles of your feet together, okay? Soles of your feet together. Hopefully you guys can see me, I can't see. Soles of my feet together. I'm gonna to put the weight right in my hips. And I'm gonna do, all I'm gonna do is that hip bridge. I'm gonna squeeze up and I'm gonna hold one, 1,000, two, 1,000, and then I'm gonna drop down, okay? So, you guys go ahead and start. You gotta hold it at the top. Squeeze those feet together. I'm just making sure I'm adjusted so you guys can see. Use a heavy bell, hold it at the top. I want you to do what feels good to you with the weight that you have. So maybe 15 feels good, maybe only 10. Good. Keeping those feet together. Try and keep those knees out. If you're tight in your hips like I am, it's gonna be hard to keep those knees out. Hold it at the top. One, 1,000, two, 1,000. And you guys, don't push up so high that your back arches. I do want you to get as high as you can, but if your back is arching, it shouldn't because of the position of your feet. I would not go as high. Watch that back, keep those abs engaged. One, 1,000, two, 1,000. Good, just a couple more. And one more for me. And then relax it down. Okay, so, as you know, first round, goes a little slower. We just did everything. So we started with those front raise to lateral raise. Then we're gonna go into those single leg squats. Yes? You can use the bench or not use the bench. We're gonna move a little bit faster. Same thing, decide next round. You need to add weight, lose weight, um, 
Go heavier. Do you need, what do you have, what do you need to adjust? I want you to adjust it this time, okay? So, let's start off with those shoulders. And I'm gonna go heavier than I did last time. Front raise to lateral lift. Are we ready? Three, two, and one. One. Good. That's two. You shouldn't be rushing through these. That's three. Good. Hold those abs in tight. I'm halfway there. I'm going to 10. That's six. Nice. Only shoulder height. Here's eight for me. 10 is perfect. Nine. And 10. Awesome work. All right. So next, we're going to do that single leg on the bench or on the floor, however you want to do it. I'm going to go light, only because you saw how sloppy mine were. Haven't done this in a while. I try to be a little bit easier with the chair. It's up to you. Again, our goal is 10. Stop where you need to or keep going if you feel the need to. Here we go. Three, two, one. Take your time on these. So I'm going to pretend like I'm going to touch my toe to the floor. It may not get there because of my flexibility. Everyone is different. Nice. Focus. Think about what the lower half of the leg is doing. Don't just go through the motions. Actually think about where is my knee going? What's my ankle doing? What is my foot doing? Remember, push hard into that bench as you come up. Woo! Good, I've got two more. One more. Drive through the entire foot. Beautiful. We're gonna go on over to the other side. Again, take your time. One side will typically be harder than the other or easier. Three, two, one. Take your time. Again, this shouldn't be a speedy Gonzalez move. If you can go that fast, you either need to correct your form or you need heavier weight. Good, keep going. This is five. Good. So just because I say we would want to touch our toe to the ground doesn't mean we all have the flexibility to do it. So don't do it just because. Whoa. Good. Keep going. I know some of this balance stuff can be frustrating. That's why it's good for you. I've got one more. And drive it up. Nice job. All right. We're to that squat Arnold press. Going right into it, we're going for 10. In that Arnold press, the goal is to keep your elbows away from your body. It's not here, it's up here, okay? So decide, we're on in three, two, one. Let's do it. Good. Do you like my giant peak weights? <laughs> they look bigger than they are. Well, no, they're, they're as big as they look but they're only 10 pounds. I shouldn't have told you, I thought I was lifting 50s, right? <laughs> Come on. Remember, on that squat, drive up hard through the ground as you come up. Nice. Good, I have one more. And up. Nice work. So I went heavier that time, technically. I can go heavier again next set. So every set, I want you to evaluate what you're doing. Now, we're going into that single leg, Romanian deadlift, to lateral lunge, right? Again, go as heavy as you can, but not so heavy that you're gonna lose your form. Let's get right into it. 
Right leg for the deadlift. Left leg goes into that lat lunge. Here we go. Three, two, one. Soften that knee. That was one. Two. Nice. Three. I love that Casey's outside. <laughs> but this is cool enough today. Woo! This is my six. Don't get sloppy. Seven. Ah. Eight. Nine. And 10. Nice. Put the weights down. Take a little break, especially if you're going heavy. You probably want to shake your arms out. We're going to try and keep moving though so we don't run out of time. Let's grab those weights and do the other side. We're on in three, two, one. Soft knee, flat back. Drive up through the foot. Remember, don't go too wide here. And you can always add that extra balance, right? Make that balance harder by lifting the knee in front of you each time. Nice job, keep moving. Oh yeah. I don't even know what I'm on. I think that was six. I'm gonna do four more. That's one. There's two. Come on, work for it. Think about what you're gonna do next time. Is this enough? Can you go heavier? Nice work. When you're done, set those weights down. So now we've got that shoulder push up, yes? I'm gonna do less reps this time because I'm gonna put my feet up on the bench. It's gonna be harder, okay? If you're on the floor and 15 was good for you, stick with 15. Let's do this. I'll do what I can. If I get to 15, great. Here we go. In three, two, one. Here we go. Seven. There's 10. I can do five more. One, two, three. Oh man. Four and five. Woo. So that definitely was where I should have been in the first set. Third and fourth set, I might not get to 15 because it's going to get harder. We're going to do those hip bridges with our feet together. Again, go as heavy as you can. So lay it down. Bring the soles of your feet together. Keep those knees out. Make sure that your feet aren't too far apart from your hips though. They shouldn't be touching, but close. Here we go. We're gonna hold it at the top. Three, two, one. One, 1,000, two, 1,000. And down again, here we go. One, 1,000, two, 1,000. So remember, we've done these hip bridges before, but our feet were not in this position. It's different. Here we go. One, 1,000, two, 1,000. Remember, watch that back as you go up. Make sure it's not arching. I think we did 15 last time. Let's keep going. Come on. Again, it's a controlled lift. And a nice squeeze at the top. You just hold that squeeze. You have to squeeze to lift up. So hold that squeeze. And go ahead and lower down a little bit slower. Don't just flop to the ground. 
I'm gonna go five more. Lift up. Don't forget that hold. One, one thousand, two, one thousand. I've got two more. And I could totally go heavier on this. And I'm gonna relax it down. So when you do this workout again, I want you to write down what you started with today so you know what you can do next time. Even if you only go up a pound or a couple reps, okay? So we're back to the beginning. Front raise, lat raise. Front raise, lat raise. I gotta check the time, because I never know what time it is. Perfect, all right. We're gonna try and get in one more full round. You can do the fourth on your own. Here we go. I'm gonna try 15s. I'm gonna do less reps, possibly. Here we go. Three, two, one. That's two. Oh yeah, that's three. I'm gonna make it to five, and I'm gonna drop for my last five. And that's fine. Start heavy. Even if it's only two, and then go down lighter. You guys keep going. I'll meet you at the end. Ah, now the tens just got harder. I mean, my fifties. <laughs> Good. Remember, no swinging, only shoulder height. Two more. One more for me. Woo! Shoulder burn. Nice. All right. Now, we're going onto the single leg squat on the bench or on the floor. It's up to you. Again, I'm going to try and go a little heavier each time. Let's do this. Doesn't matter what side you start on, you're going to get to the other. Just take your time. We're on. The goal is 10. Three, two, one. Nice. Do you notice that the third time around, you're getting less squirrely, right? Because your muscles have memory. So they're going, okay, wait a minute. I've done this two other times. And you're gaining more control and more stabilization. Good, keep going. Woo! Nice. So now, I really want you to kind of drive up to the entire foot, but a little bit more towards the pinky toe. Drive up towards that pinky toe. Feel the difference. Oh, you're gonna feel more on the lateral part, the outside part of the leg. I'm gonna do one more. Good. So maybe not so much depth, but as I push more my pinky toe, I felt it more in my glute. Now I'm not gonna tell somebody that right away if they're brand new to this exercise, because their body's already trying to figure out a hundred other things. You're just trying to figure out the foot balance. And if I'm telling you to drive into the pinky toe and you can't even drive up, period, then it's not gonna work. So I ease you into it. Here we go. Other side, three, two, one. So we start by driving up to the entire foot, what feels more natural. And then as you get used to it, drive up. I don't want you to rotate your foot outward, but I want you to think, drive through the entire foot and just think about your pinky toe. Just thinking about your pinky toe is gonna work. Woo! It's not so much about how low I get. Yes, the deeper I go, the harder it is for me, to, for me to get up. But it doesn't mean it's not working if I don't get that deep. I don't have that flexibility. It's okay. I've got three more. Woo! One more. And drive it up. Oh, that one got squirrely, but man, was my glute burning. Did you guys feel the difference in that, I hope? All right, squat arm press. 
We're going right into it. Squat Arnold press. We have a lot to do still. Arms up, elbows up, away from the body. Three, two, one. So I'm going to go more reps because I stuck with the lighter weight. I want you to go heavy enough that you can only do 10. I might do 12 or 15. Nice. Yeah, let that lower half of your body help you up. Nice, I can see Casey's power. She probably really is using 50s. Keep going, come on. Woo! I know Kim is going hard and heavy. Remember, push hard into the ground as you come up. Ah, as we progress through this workout, you should feel your heart rate elevating too. One more. Woo! All right. Single leg deadlift to lateral lunge. Let's do it. Yeah, we gotta move. Let's go. Whichever foot, again, it doesn't matter. You'll do the other. I'm on the right. In three, two, one. That's one. Don't worry, it's not gonna kick us off if we go a few minutes over. There's three. Focus on that four. Nice, Casey. Nice, Jen. Oh. So if your foot and your ankle is wobbling a lot, you're probably going to feel the arch of your foot or your ankle. It's okay. Stabilize your muscles. You got to get them used to it too. I've got three more. Oh. So in that lateral lunge, I'm going to sit those hips back. One more. Nice. Let's set those weights down for a second. Shake it out. So, you guys notice I am balancing, but I'm not doing the knee lift. I'm being lazy. I'm just going to be honest with you. Just being downright lazy. All right. Let's go. Other side. Three, two, one. Again, remember, I don't want a big giant stance. I'm going to step, sit my hips back. Woo! Nice. I'm halfway there. I'm at five. I'm going for five more. So if you guys do Top of the World and it's easy for you, you can borrow my child and push him up in a stroller or put him in a backpack. Definitely makes things more challenging, especially those hills, man. Woo! I've got two more. Keep at it, flat back. Oh yeah. Nice. Finish what you need to finish. Woo! My heart rate's up. I feel like I'm on top of the world again. Shoulder push-ups. Let's do it. Again, how can you challenge yourself a little bit more? If it was challenging enough, then that's okay. Here we go. You choose your number. You choose your goal. Three, two, one. I'm literally tapping my head to the ground. I don't know if I'm going to make 15. This is 10. Woo! I'm going to do it. Come on. Three, four, one more. Oh, man. And five. Oh. That's how I want you to feel the last three reps 
like, oh man, can't do this. We're down on the floor, feet together, knees apart. Nobody talk to Jen after this, because she's gonna do a four set. She doesn't have time to take a break. I know how this works with her now. Here we go, that's what I love about her. She's got kids like me. You don't have a second of time when you're on your own. Here we go. Feet together, knees apart. Three, two, one. Squeeze up, hold. One, 1,000, two, 1,000. Bring it down. Again, lift up and bring it down. Woo. That's three. Keep it going, drive it up, hold. That's four, I'm going to 15 because why not? Squeeze. Nice. Hold, one, 1,000, two, 1,000. Try and keep those knees out. It's hard for me because I'm tight. My rotators, I got five more. Here we go. And down. So you've got a bunch of little rotator muscles deep inside your glute. One of them the piriformis. If those suckers get tight, you're gonna have issues. So be mindful. Make sure that you stretch. Good, I've got two more. Drive up, squeeze. And down, one more. And release it down. Beautiful. Go ahead, come on up. Nice, perfect timing. All right, guys, so you don't have to do a four set. Three sets is good, right? Um, so for some of you, three sets is enough, especially if you did weight for the first set. Um, I just like doing four, four sets once in a while, not all the time, because your body adapts to things. But do four sets, because everybody does three, right? So that four set can make the biggest difference. See, there you go, Jen's on it, man. She's on that four set. Okay, so you should just follow Jen. <laughs> She's like, okay, I'll do it. Nice job, you guys. If you have any questions, you can always message me, um, text me, whatever you want. Have an awesome week. I'll see you Friday morning, 8.30. Have a great day. Bye, Jen.